Hi, and welcome to Chamber Chat via Zoom. I'm Danielle McFadden, President of the Greater Lowell Chamber of Commerce. I'm so excited to have Paul Dimziak with us today. He is with the Dramatically Incorrect Theater and Dance Group, which is like the best name ever for an organization. <laughs> it is a great name. I, I That name has stuck with me since 2011. So. <laughs> wow, 10 years. Yeah. So let's Ten talk years. about DITGDC. <laughs> Tell us all uh, about it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, DITGDC um, was founded back in 2011. Um, we wanted to start working with communities and trying to get more people involved. Uh, it wasn't until 2019 when we actually opened up an actual shop uh, and had a dance studio and you know actual shows going up instead of just cabarets. Um, so my sister and me had discussed about, you know, Lowell and the community. And I was like, well, let's make it bigger than that. Let's go Merrimack Valley. So, you know, we want to make sure that we keep kids and adults off the streets. So anything that we can do to help the community is, is what we want to do. So if you can't afford it, we'll work something out. You know, we will find sponsors for you. Even if we don't find a sponsor, we don't turn anybody away. Everybody deserves that chance to, to do what they love for their passion. So that's why we're here. We're here to help the community. And that's why we became nonprofit to get more money to help with everybody else's tuitions and to do productions, of course. That is incredible. Now, where are you located? We are located at 9 Central Street. We're on the fourth and fifth floor. We're fully functioning. We have a full dance studio. We have classrooms for our theater classes. And we also have a vocal instructor that teaches voice lessons. They have their own classroom. That is incredible. So you opened up like right before the pandemic. How did, did yeah. anything shift for you? And how are things now as we're kind of getting back to some sense of normalcy? So when we opened in March of 2019, which is really late to get started in any type of dance season, um, we, uh, everything was going great. Um, just trying to get the word out there, trying to help, have people understand who we are and how we're here to help. Um, when the pandemic hit, I wasn't going to let it stop us or shut the doors because I literally was homeless for almost three years, couch surfing, to make sure that this roof was here for these children. And, you know, when the pandemic hit, I was like, how is this even going to work? Like, I don't like, I don't know what to do. So I thought about it. And after one week we went virtual and it was hard to teach virtual dance, but we, we made do with it, but we also did 26 productions during the pandemic, all virtual. 26. 26. We filmed wow. two in the uh clue was you know clue of course yeah, um yeah we did well we did the straight production and we turned the second floor of our building into the mansion awesome oh so, you know between clue noises off uh a show called the green room written by stephen foster chuck pelletier and rod demir um they're from california um it's a brand new production that was on off broadway for a little bit um so we we they found us and th they wanted us to perform their show virtually so we did that and then you know a bunch of numerous things two dance recitals online um a bunch of cabarets trying to raise money to pay rent you know so the doors didn't shut and that is it was incredible it was very successful a lot of people know about us now and people are starting to come through the door and you know we're always welcoming more so what is the age range of people that you serve? Age range goes anywhere between two years old. Wow, until, oh my gosh. Oh yeah, we have a class called Cutie Patooties. And that's like two to five year old. And it's pretty much, they just technically want to round, but we got them in a whole routine of like the trampoline, the balance beam, like learning how to be steady on their legs. So, and they love it. They, they don't want to leave after their class. All our classes are an hour long. Um, so they have fun. That is so oh, cool. So 
all the way up to whatever. You know, we've got we've had 60 year olds, 70 year olds between dance and theater. So wow, that is amazing. Looking back at the past 10 years, can you believe where you are now? No, because I'll tell you the first uh, uh, seven years, I think we did two cabarets. <laughs> wow. And that was and it. Then- uh, yeah. So we haven't really done much because it was like, you know, where's the money coming from? Because at that mm-hmm. point, we weren't nonprofit yet. You know, trying to find a local place for us to set up where it would be cheap enough for us, it was just not, it was not happening. So yeah. it wasn't until I came. Oh. Well, we're so glad that you did. So now that things have opened back up, what is it like inside your studio? What are you What are you offering and doing right now? So right now, um, now that we're open, we have a summer program that involves theater, dance, and singing. Um, they they rotate their classes all day. Um, we are going to be performing and have a table at the arts market. Um, on awesome. this Saturday, August and September, so people can see us there. The kids will be performing some of the dance routines from last season. Um, so we got that. We've got uh, a Star Kid double feature weekend, which is two shows we did during the pandemic that people want an encore to go live. So in August, we have a double feature weekend, and that will be at Old Town Hall in Tingsboro. Awesome. Wow. I should have said not like, what are you doing, but what aren't you doing? (laughs) Because you're doing a little bit of everything. And I love that you're a nonprofit. So if somebody listening is just feels completely inspired by the work that you're doing, how can people give to your organization and and help you continue your amazing mission? There's plenty of ways. Uh, Visit our website at ditgdc.org. If you visit that website, you can see... At the very bottom, there's a spot for people to donate um, if they want to call and talk to us and know more about our program and what we offer for children. They can give me a call and I'll be more than happy to talk them through it because I know sometimes people want a little more information. Mm -hmm. Um, There's a bunch of stuff on there. I mean, we have a virtual production up of the green room that is staying up that the writers wanted me to make my own their own section on my website for their show. So if they if somebody wants to watch it for ten dollars, that top ten dollars is a donation to the company. So that helps us get more rights at, for more shows and so on and so forth. That's amazing, and I'm sure if people wanted to pop in too at some point to see the place yeah. and, and where their money's going, I'm sure they'd be welcome that way as well. Exactly. So right now with the summer program, it's Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays from 9 a.m. until 3 p.m. So if anybody just wants to pop on by, we're here 9 to 3, but I'm here every day. So just give me a call. (laughs) Awesome. And then what about somebody who's watching and they are are interested in the arts? Maybe they have an inkling to act or sing or dance. What is that? Can they go on the website and see what you have to offer for classes? Yep. So they can go right on the website and they can look at all the classes that we offer. We offer for both kids and adults. Um, They'll see upcoming productions that we're doing um, and they'll be able to get all the information they need right from the website. So there's a dance tab at the homepage. They got it all. Great. Now, is there anything else that we didn't cover that you'd like the viewers to know? Um, Come on down. We, we, everybody, everybody should come down here and try us out. Awesome. It really, our prices are the lowest that they can go for everybody. We give all discounts. So, you know, and if you can't afford it, don't worry about it. Come down here. We'll talk. We'll figure it out. We have tons of volunteer positions. Everybody here volunteers, by the way, none of us get paid. We wow. literally just, the, the, our pay is the kids and the adults and their faces when they perform and what the audience gives back to them that that's my pay that's more than enough that is incredible well thank you for all that you're doing for the community we're so glad that you found a home in Lowell uh there's so much to offer in Lowell and and you you're adding to that so we really appreciate it thank you thank you very much it's a pleasure being down here yeah, we. It's, uh, um, one of these days I'll actually bump into you because I'm right on Merrimack Street, so we're we're practically neighbors over here. 
Yeah. yeah. I'm literally right on the corner of Merrimack and South. I will, uh, I will wave next time I walk by. And I'll also include all of your contact information when I post this video so that folks can get in touch with you. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. We really appreciate all that you're doing for the community. Keep up the great work. And I look forward to talking to you soon. And it's been 10 years. And I can't wait to see what you do in the next decade. Thank you very much. I can't wait for everybody to see it too. You guys are going to love it. Awesome. Thanks so much, Paul. Thank you. Bye. The Coalition for a Better Acre invests in communities, developing stable neighborhoods, and building futures. Since day one, Enterprise Bank has been CBA's leading local funder because Enterprise understands commercial lending, how to streamline the process, and make it easy, serving as a trusted advisor and partner. Whatever your idea of success, Enterprise can help get you there. Enterprise Bank. Create real success. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender.